Guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru today, and to my left, I've got a 2017 Premium Crosstrek. Now, what we're gonna take a look at specifically today are the paddle shifters that are on all of the Crosstreks. Um, you'll also see these on a lot of Subaru Legacies, uh, the Outbacks, and also on the Turbo Model Foresters. Now, a lot of customers have questions about what are these paddle shifters actually used, what are the benefits of them, and we're actually gonna take this car out for a spin to kind of explain what exactly is the benefit of using paddle shifters on your new Subaru. Let's go take it for a spin. There are a couple benefits to having these paddle shifters on the vehicle. And a lot of times when you hear people talk about, oh, like, I like having a manual transmission because it gives me more control. Um, you know, it does compared to a standard automatic. But when you have these paddle shifters, it allows you to get the benefits uh, and the fuel efficiency and everything and the convenience of an automatic transmission and still having those elements of control when you want them. So on the shifter lever down here, we've got, you know, the, the typical, the P, the R, the N, you know, park reverse neutral. And then we've got D for drive. And then we've got to the left, M. Now on some cars, you're gonna see, um, you know, a plus and a minus. And that's, you know, allows you to shift down here for it. Now the M just puts it into manual mode. Now, this is a CVT transmission, a continuously variable transmission. So there's really an infinite number of gears. So you're not actually, you know, shifting from one gear to another. The, you know, the car is actually sort of imitating uh, what those gears would be like, um, you know. However, it's still going to behave the same way. Now, if I'm in D right now, and I slide over into M, which I can do while I'm driving, I'm gonna see one here with a nice little triangle arrow pointing upwards, saying that I can shift uh, using the plus on the right side of the steering wheel up a gear. Now I'm gonna see the triangle pointing down, just telling me I should be downshifting because I'm at a complete stop. So um, I'm gonna slide back into drive here for just a second to get going. You gotta show, bye yo. Not trying to test the side curtain airbags today. That's in another video. All right, cool. So if I'm in regular drive, I'm gonna see, you know, just like a normal automatic transmission, sort of see the needle kind of go up and down very gently, because this is a CVT. We're not really feeling any shifting or anything like that. But if I slide over, so I'm going a little bit below 40 miles an hour. If I slide over, I'm in fifth gear. Now, that kind of shows you why automatic transmissions are more fuel efficient than manual cars now. Because if I was driving on this road, I would at most be in fourth gear uh, right now, which means that my engine would be working harder, which means I would not be at 1500 RPM. Now it shows me here, it shows that downward facing triangle, sort of that downward arrow, saying that I could downshift. So right now I'm at a 1500 RPM. I'm in fifth gear. Now if I downshift using the left minus button, that brings me up about 500 RPM. Now it shows me in fourth. It shows me with an arrow pointing up or down, meaning I could both go into third or go into fifth at the speed of roughly 40 miles an hour. Now, when this comes into play, when this is gonna be really beneficial, this is a cross track, for example, and you're not gonna be weaving like crazy in and out of traffic. But there's two times in particular that are really helpful to have this feature. One, if you're in super, super deep snow. So not only would you want to turn off traction control while you're in deep snow, but you'd also want to put over into manual mode and put yourself into first gear. It's essentially like putting yourself into four low, which is really beneficial if you were driving this car. The other time is if you were you know, going up over the mountain or something, especially here in Colorado, I'm just going to switch this back to drive because I don't want to think about shifting right now, which is very convenient that I could do that. Uh, the other time, you know, especially here in Colorado, you know, we're coming down the mountains a lot of times and we might want to save our brakes. And what we could do is slide over into manual mode, do one, maybe two downshifts, and the engine's going to go up, you know, about a thousand RPM. And so long as that's, you know, within, you know, you're not killing the engine it's super, super hard. That's totally fine for the car to be doing that. And you're saving your brake pads from constantly riding the brakes like that, which is really um, nice and convenient to extend the longevity of your brakes. And, and so long as you're, you know, under 4,000 or so RPM, you're not really doing any damage or anything to the engine. Um, now there is a question I get a lot of times too, is can I use the paddle shifters while I'm in drive? The answer is yes. You can use the paddle shifters to sort of momentarily put you into a manual mode, so to speak, um, just by tapping either you know the downshift or the upshift button. Um, however, if I am not doing anything, for example, I'm not you know uh, hitting the gas or anything like that, already you know within five seconds it's put me back into drive automatically. So this would be sort of helpful if you were, for example, uh, trying to merge onto the highway or you wanted to pass somebody and you quickly wanted to downshift just to get that extra umph 
um, to get around them or you're going up a hill you want to get that extra power you could do a quick downshift at that time as well and then right when you want it to go it's going to go right back into drive and you don't have to think about shifting or anything like that now when you do go into manual mode you do need to upshift it's not going to upshift for you so for example i'm in second here i'm going 30 40 it's not you know shifting for me it's like yo 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 you got to do something so i just had to shift up there into third gear now i'm going 40 miles an hour i'm in third gear i'm at 3000 rpm it's telling me i can up or down shift definitely going to want to up shift i'm in fourth now going 40 miles an hour right around 2000 rpm and now i'm going to go into fifth gear i just upshifted and now it's telling me i can't go higher it won't let me upshift beyond that fifth gear now it's forcing me to upshift when i'm in manual however if i were to come down to a stop it would it would downshift for me it won't force me to do those downshifts so it will kind of slowly downshift for me until i'm in first gear just like it would do you know if it was the normal cvt transmission i just would have no idea that, that was happening so really really convenient i can slide right back over into drive i don't notice any lag or anything like that um, and it's really really nice to sort of have that control when i want it and the convenience and fuel efficiency of the CVT transmission when I don't want to do those things. So hopefully you guys have found this vehicle or this uh, this video to be helpful. Hopefully that answers all your questions about paddle shifters. Uh, if you guys do have questions, please do put them in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer them. Um, and you can always uh, call Group Subaru, ask for me, Brendan Hancock, I'd be glad to assist you. Thanks for watching. And if you guys haven't done so already, subscribe today.